Hey guys, so here I have the Two Guard Back a Camera Kit. Uh, it's a seven inch um, camera, rear view monitor camera. And um, you can see there's the box that it comes in. This kit is actually for um, bigger trucks like uh, like vans, uh, motorhomes, pickup trucks, uh, buses, um, you know, just uh, RVs, things like that. Uh, the camera is very industrial. Uh, like um, let me just open the box and show you guys more details um, It's pretty cool. It's waterproof um, Very sturdy I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys all the details here So here we have an Amazon. So I ordered this uh, camera through Amazon uh, You could also order it from the two guard website directly I'll send the, the I'll, sh I'll shoot the links down below in the description so you could purchase it either through Amazon or two guard um, if you order through Amazon, you also get a $20 gift card. Like if you give your honest opinion, you could actually redeem a free accessory. So either you choose between, um, um, a $20 gift card, uh, 32, uh, gig micro SD, a dual USB car charge, car charger, or a vacuum cleaner. So it's pretty cool. You could do that. Uh, all you need to do is send them an email and follow the steps. Um, apart from that, here you can see that this is the camera, this is the monitor, that's what we're going to be unboxing soon. So you could go through these instructions and, um, you know, if you need some help, this is good. If not, don't worry, just stay tuned in the video, I'm going to go through some details uh, which may help you wire this kit. So you also get a cam uh, remote control with this, I'll show you how that would be useful um, shortly. Um, in the back over here of this uh, manual, you could see that um, here, this is what every uh, this is what's inside of the box. You get the monitor, you get the camera, you get a bracket for the uh, monitor itself. You get the stand, you get the cigarette um, uh, power socket. Uh, we have the wires that hook up the camera um, to the monitor and to the uh, power outlets. Uh, we also have this wiring over here which is very interesting it's called the hard wiring um, wiring kit i'll show you more details on the connection diagram shortly and this is the stand so there's two ways to wire this unit i'll uh, i'll go through that right now the first way here is um the hard wired way which is the uh, the best way i think um if you want to go you know the extra mile and set it up this way your camera would be um, perfect. Like it would be um, like you would have more control over just connecting it to the cigarette lighter port. But this is the easiest way. So if you're not very technical, I, I suggest you take the easier way and just connect it, hook it up to the um, cigarette power uh, cigarette power socket, uh, lighter socket. So okay. So basically, in this diagram over here, you could see that the power. Um, the power is over here. So this is where the power is. This is where the camera is and all the wires are interconnected here. Let me go through the power itself. Um, the first wire that I'm going to talk about is the green wire. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the green wire shortly and that is responsible for the reverse uh, lamp. So basically, whenever you put your car uh, to reverse, this uh, would actually provide uh, power signal and um, it would illuminate the monitor, which would actually give you uh, visuals. Um, whenever you're reversing and you could also see that there's going to be like a small little diagram um, Showing you uh, how far back you could actually reverse so there's like the red yellow green sort of type of uh, thing when you connect that green wire Next is the red which is always going to be connected to ACC I recommend you connect this to a fuse outlet um, a fuse um, in, to, into the fuse box of something that powers on as soon as you put into the uh, put in your key into the ignition and Put two clicks where you know, you could turn on your wipers the blower motor is gonna turn on um, That's exactly where you have to hook this up to I suggest hooking it up to the wiper um, Fuse so that is a good uh, place to do it because as soon as uh, the wipers are able to turn on after you put in the key and put in one click um, This unit will also get power so that is going to be good. And then the black is obviously for ground. You could put that into any um, like a, a frame bolt or anything, or you could also hook it up uh, to an actual ground wire of your car. So the yellow wire here that you see, um, it has a yellow socket. It's an optional channel two port. So you could have two cameras actually hooked up to one unit. Uh, that's solely up to you. Uh, the unit does not come with a second camera, but if you want, you could go out, um, purchase another camera through TwoGuard. 
uh, which is um, which that's if that's an option for you. Next, all this so this wiring over here after you connect the power, um, you you have to plug it into the um, actual monitor. And there's also another wire that's going on and that's connected to the camera. Again, um, in this case here, we don't need the uh, Sergat um, lighter um, power socket here. So if I go to the next diagram, this diagram is very straightforward, very easy. However, whenever you um, shift your car to park or uh, sorry, reverse, you're not going to see the monitor turning on uh, like in this wiring uh, method. So in this method, it's up to you um, to always have it on or you could actually turn it off to your preference and you have full control over the power uh, when the camera is turned on and when it's turned off. So in this case over here, um, it's connected to the uh, cigarette power socket and uh, there's a switch to it. So you could pu pu uh, push the button um, so that whenever you want to power the, the backup camera on or push the push it whenever you want to turn it off. You could always leave it on and control it through the, the remote actually. Um, so that is another way that you could do it. Um, including here so if you're not on reverse and you want the camera on all you have to do is push the button on your remote and that's gonna turn uh, the camera on if you push the uh, button on the remote to close it it's also gonna close um, so you also have that ability here there if you do if you lose the remote no need to worry there's also the function fully uh, all the functions um, on uh, on on the monitor itself so you could see over here I think it's on the next page you can see here that there's um, numbers labeled and you can see here there's a channel switch and all of these details here. Uh, first button is for channel switch so you can switch between the channels. Second button over here is the actual rotating the image so you can either have it left, right, up or down depending on um, how you mount this monitor and um, which um, angle you actually mount this monitor to, like um, from so you can mount it reverse up down it's totally up to you but even if you do mess up the order it doesn't really matter because we could uh, switch the image third option is menu i guess you could um that's the menu button over here i guess you could control like maybe the brightness and some settings um then you have the decrease uh, uh decrease button for adjusting values increase button the power which is the six button over here that's the power button and we have the uh, ir window which is number seven it's not a button it's just an ir sensor which would um that's that's how the remote connects to um infrared sensors okay so that's a little about the, uh, that's the manual, that's the camera. So we went over the wiring and everything. Now I'm going to be showing you guys the monitor itself. So this is how the monitor looks like. Um, it is a TFT color monitor. Um, very straightforward layout. Again, like I said, video one, video two, that's the channels you could choose between the two cameras, reversing uh, the image, the menu button, plus and minus for adjustment, and the power button over here. This bar over here is for the IR sensor, so for your remote control. Um, so if I turn it back, um, you can see there's more details. This over here is metal, so this is for the stand. Um, you can see over here, that's uh, totally for the stand. Uh, very straightforward. Um, this looks like... It's, it's it's not like a not like a port for the car a normal reverse um, uh, backup camera for the car you can see that this is very industrial like it's kind of like an S video port but it's not an S video port it looks like one um, but yeah like I mentioned this is for large trucks but I'll show you you could some people also install this on cars so it's totally up to you cool so I'm gonna move this to the side right here while that's there I'm gonna get to the unboxing so. Here you can see these are the wires I was talking about earlier. Um, so there's also a fuse within, um, so you don't short things out, which is good. Um, over here we have the ground. So this is, it says ground on it. Um, this is for the ACC. Um, so again, hook this up to a fuse, for, to the fuse box itself. So you could uh, like, what, like for example, the wiper um, fuse, that would be a good option for you. The next wire is the reverse so this actually hooks up to the reverse um, and I suggest uh, you could if you want to use this wiring method I, that's how you use it so that's uh, straightforward exactly as it's written in the manual you won't be using this if you don't have a second camera that's for the second camera and this is for like plugging into the camera and um, so you can see here AV tube means you're plugging this into the monitor and this is it goes to the camera Sorry, this goes to the camera and this goes to the monitor. It says AV2. 
cool so that's that um this is the wire that you run along your uh, your truck uh from the back to the front or wherever your camera is located um you can see that uh, this is for the cigarette lighter you won't be using this if you're going the hard wiring method but if you're going the simple route you will be using this one this wire for the power now this one and this one is to connect to the monitor and the camera itself cool uh, this is for the uh, camera and this is for the uh, monitor so this is the remote um, to control um, the LCD so you could see over here I'm not sure if you could see but there is the video select button over here there's a menu button and uh, mode select and adjustment over here and power so you could turn it on and off as to your liking next we have the cigarette lighter port uh, power adapter sorry about that in the background my cat is just meowing he's not in this room so he's, he wants to get in anyways um this is um the cigarette lighter port where you could just power the monitor direct and the camera directly using this um this right here is if you want to turn um, the monitor on or off instead of unplugging plugging it you can just simply on and off so that is that oh there's the camera so this itself is the camera it is very sturdy I really like it um, it's very industrial like um, you can hear it all metal all metal all metal um, this is very good for night vision you can see uh, that there's uh, IR sensors there's also um, some LEDs um, so it's very sturdy very well built you could also see that there's also a grommet here this grommet is actually um, useful if you're drilling in, into your um, if you're drilling anywhere um, all you need to do is place this grommet so no water gets in um, it's pretty uh, it's pretty very industrial like as I as I mentioned which is uh, pretty good so then we also have uh, the stand itself this is the stand uh, for the stand for the base of the camera uh, this is some um, double-sided tape that you could actually position like this and um, attach the camera to so you also get some switch locks here these switch locks are for if you don't want to solder wires together if you don't want to splice wires or use um, you know cut wires and then connect them together these are very useful what you need to do is you put one wire in put the next wire so you put the car wire for example i'm going to go through the reverse light um, while we're at it you put into you find where um your whenever you switch it to reverse uh you try to find that bulb and um you find the positive of that and as soon as you put into that and as soon as you connect the switch lock to the positive all you need to do is connect the other wire uh, which is the green wire in this case from our wiring kit over here sorry i'll just show you which is the green wire you connect that into uh the switch lock over here so you put this in and you connect the actual um power uh, positive from the reverse bulb and you connect that together you put you, you know you plier these together and then you close the switch lock and that would actually give you um, the power whenever you turn the reverse on we also have like a small little support um, for a sunshade for the um, monitor itself which you could use or not use totally up to you so that's about it for the unboxing I'm gonna show you guys everything all plugged together in action very shortly um so yeah bear with me and i'll get that uh, get that done as well hey guys so i've installed the camera in my car ran the wires down here so this is where uh the cigarette adapter is plug that in it runs straight up through the glove box and to up here so the other wires all the way from the back running through the pillar down here which i didn't record but yeah let's get straight to it let me show you how it looks like i'm gonna power it on using the remote itself oops clicked it twice by mistake so just like that you can see it's very clear um i'm at a gas station right now it's pretty good um again you could change the brightness and everything i like how it is it's displaying nicely 
what I really like is that I could turn it off whenever I want it. So just need to press this and the camera is off. Once I push the power button again, the camera is going to automatically turn on. It's an AV2 because there's another port for a backup camera as well, but I'm only using one because um, it comes with one. So this is how it is. Um, I could also drive a little more into the dark to show you guys how it looks like in the dark. like in the dark still looks good very clear hey guys so my brother's just in the back of the car he's gonna be showing you guys the night vision how it looks like when you're extremely zoomed in uh, nearby so you can see you can see his hand like uh, extremely white my um, <laughs> my camera is not focusing that well, but the camera on the camera itself it looks great. Um, but yeah, so it's pretty cool. Let me show you guys how it looks like in action. So over here, you can see the IR sensors on, and inside of the car, you could actually see me. Uh, not that great though, but you see me there. I'm waving and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool overall I'm very happy with this camera and uh, the links are down below in the description if you guys want to purchase this two guard um, rear view camera again it's meant for larger vehicles but again you could also install it on your car thank you for watching